Welcome to our video on differentiating instruction in EMI courses. Differentiating instruction means when we identify the different needs that students have and seek to address those different needs. We understand that students have diverse needs, interests, and abilities, and we try to give them the support they need in order to succeed in our classes. The topic of differentiating instruction is similar to scaffolding, which also refers to supporting students as they learn in our courses. In your class, you can vary the content, process, or products that you expect from students. So let's look at two ways to do this. First of all, we can use differentiated instruction to help all students succeed and score well on the same assessments. This can also be called same assessment expectations. How can we help students who have lower English proficiency but still need to learn the content? First of all, remember that you are focusing on the English that your students have for your particular field. They don't need perfect English in all areas. The focus is on a particular assignment in your particular area. Also, during class, you can help students with lower spoken English proficiency by asking them questions with grammar and vocabulary that is easier for them to understand. And it's important to not let stronger students dominate discussions. Whenever possible, it's best to build assignments and assessments that are authentic to your field. That means that you are choosing specific assignments that will ask students to do tasks that are similar to what they would do when they graduate and get a job. If your students are doing group projects, students who are stronger in English and tend to dominate discussions, they can be given jobs such as a scribe, asking them to record notes from meetings instead of dominating in their speaking. Whenever possible, you can ask students to work together as well, such as with stronger students working with peers who have less English and helping them develop the vocabulary they need. Another way to differentiate instruction, this way is through flipped learning. This is where students have access to lectures and content before class time, and during class time, they work on exploring the ideas or projects together. With this model of class time, there are no or few lectures during class. All lectures are recorded, and students watch them for homework. So how does this help with differentiated learning? It helps because students can watch the videos of the lectures as many times as they want. Also, during class, students are working on projects that apply that knowledge. Of course, it will take time for you to record your lectures and use a flipped classroom model, but you can try this step by step. For the first semester, choose to record and assign as homework just some of your lectures, and continue to record lectures and require them as homework every time you teach the course. This will help you build your collection of lectures and take less time than doing it all at once. That wraps up this video on how to differentiate instruction. This area is important as you work with students who are learning content in a second language that's not their own original native one.